Now here's a pretty cool device. This is the Mackie Big Knob Passive Monitor Controller. First, we'll take a look at the box. Just hit pause if you want to read more. It has mute, mono, and dim buttons, and it's completely passive, so no power needed. You can switch between two input sources and two sets of speakers just by hitting a button. We'll go ahead and pop it open. You'll get a guide, which you don't really need because it's so simple to use. And you'll get a 3.5 millimeter cable if you want to connect your phone to the unit. This thing is indeed built like a tank. It has an all metal chassis and weighs in at about 2.3 pounds. There's rubber feet on the bottom to keep it in place. The action of the volume knob is super fluid. You can even turn it with one finger and it feels like quality. The buttons are laid out well and easy to access. On the rear, you'll see five inputs and four outputs. The source inputs is where you would connect your device, anything that makes noise, like an audio interface. This is an easy way to switch between multiple audio interfaces and not have to plug and unplug your studio monitors when you switch. You could also connect devices like a tablet or even your built-in computer audio output to the 3.5 millimeter input or even your phone. Just understand that when something is plugged into the 3.5 millimeter input, the quarter inch B inputs are bypassed. Here's the two audio interfaces we are going to connect. And we're gonna need a lot of cables. Eight quarter inch TRS cables to be exact. Two for each audio interface, which is four, and one for each monitor, which again is four. We'll plug our cables into each set of studio monitors or speakers. Then plug them into the outputs of the Mackie Big Knob. The large pair will be A, and the smaller white pair will go into B. Then plug two cables into the main output of the 1824C, or whatever your interface is, and two cables into the output of the second interface, in this case, the Evo 8. We'll plug the Presonus 1824C into the A source and the Evo into the B source. And that's it. And at any time, you can plug something into the B line in, like your phone, and listen to it over great speakers. Remember, though, this bypasses the interface plugged into the quarter inch B inputs. For most people, you'll probably want to turn the volume all the way up on your audio interfaces since we're controlling the overall output level with the big knob. Let's test it out. Turn the big knob to raise or lower the volume. We can change the source to the Evo, but since we're using the 1824C as our DAW audio interface, and no audio is passing through the Evo, you're not going to hear anything in this case. But if I switched my playback engine or was using the Evo for another purpose, it's much quicker to just hit a button than plugging and unplugging monitors. And we'll switch back to A. Quickly check your mix in mono with the mono button. Mute everything. We can dim the output by 20 dB. This is a quick way to check your mix between loud and quieter levels without adjusting your working volume level, or if you just need to talk to someone and don't want to stop playback. Then we can switch from the big monitors to the small white pair. Just be aware that different monitors have different total output levels, so be sure to check them at low volumes first and you can usually balance them with a trim control on the speakers themselves. And that's it. Straightforward and simple to use. If you have a couple audio interfaces that you normally use, you know the pain of connecting and disconnecting monitors when all you want to do is record. Or even if you only use one audio interface, but have two sets of studio monitors, this device makes it easy to switch back and forth.
Plus it has the mono, mute, and dim functions, and it's affordable for everyone, usually only around $69. If you want to pick one up, we'll have Amazon links below, and of course you can find them at other stores as well. That's the Mackie Big Knob Passive 2x2 Monitor Controller.